Hello everyone. Today's verse of day is Romans 2.11, for God shows no partiality. God doesn't show any partiality. There's not different rules for you, different rules for me, different rules. God is going to judge us the same, according to what we know, though, according to what we know. It's interesting because the other day, someone was sharing with me something that they did, and now they're single, and they felt like they had a second lease on life, and um, it was it was really sad. It, it dealt with a lot of things of adultery and things, and and I shared with them that the Lord's giving you a second chance, but not in the way that, that you may think, not in the way of pretty much what I was telling them, repent, though your wife cheated on you, you did some things too. There were adulterers. She did some things. There were adulterers. You guys are now separating. Yet, this is a time to get serious about God and to repent of those things. And he told me pretty much, uh, not everyone is the same. Everyone is the same. As... Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We all need the Lord. We all need it at times to repent and obey the Father. And I don't know if he thought that maybe I, I'm not. No, everyone needs to repent. Acts 10.34 says, Open his mouth, Peter said, I most certainly understand now that God is not one to show partiality, but in every nation, the one who fears him and do what is right is acceptable to him. The Lord allows things to happen, especially things of our own making to happen so that we may reach repentance and salvation. And I just thought of that. It's like, no, I'm not asking you to do some extra something extra though i know bible verses and things we serve the same god we have the same god i serve him please serve him and i think about this also with with people that are trying to measure someone up above them no someone the other day someone different who was an older gentleman confess to me some things that he did that kind of involved me. And I talked about it. I explained it. I said, listen, you, you repent. It's all good. It's all good. And then I asked him how his heart was. And he started telling me, oh, he started talking about a spiritual heart. I, I was like, brother, I'm, I'm not that dude. I'm I'm asking you about how your heart is. Like, I thought you had heart surgery. And he laughed and, and things. But no, I, I thought you had heart surgery. I'm not here to lord over anybody. As 1 Peter 5, 1 through 4 says, So I exhort the elders among you, the, the elders, the people among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, not lording over it. Listen, if you got something wrong with your heart, You take it to the Lord. I can't see your heart. So when I'm asking you how your heart is, I'm asking you how your heart is physically or whatnot. I mean, I forgave you, brother. 
not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. We're all to have a relationship with God. It's God's plan for every and each and every one of us. Each and every one of us. Because again, for all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Let's come to him and have a relationship with him. That's Philippians 2.12 in the last verse I'll leave you with. So then, my beloved, just as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my presence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your own salvation. I mean, now you're doing much more in my presence, but when I'm gone, hey, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Lord's going to judge each and every one of us according to our own works. Not according to his works, not according to mine. Work out your own salvation. So again, God doesn't show partiality. We shouldn't lord over one another. We can be examples. We can help on one another, but we shouldn't lord over one another like we're lording over. No, and, and when your brother's coming to you to help, look, I was trying to explain to that guy, I've, I haven't been in an adulterous shoes, not myself, but I've been in a hard breakup and I understand how the Lord used that to pull me towards him. He's positively, positively using things that happen to you to bring him to him. And we're not, God has the same plan for all of us to, to go and make disciples, to reach eternal life, to be ambassadors for him. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. He don't show partiality. Okay. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. I love you, Lord. Thank you for being a just God and a fair God. And just, just thank you for being all of our God. May many come to actually accept you as Lord and Savior. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.